Summer days are really warm, but there are those days that are just unbearably hot. During these days, we can't stand being under the sun for more than a minute. We need to keep ventilated even when indoors, and the night air feels like it's still the middle of the day. Now, what if those extremely hot days lasted for a month, or two, or even a season? And what if our regular hot summer days become our regular warm days year-round? Rainy days are another thing. There are parts of the country which have seasons where rain could pour quite intensely, while there are those areas where rainfall pours on almost the same moderate intensity year-round. Flooding is usually a problem for areas with heavy rainfall seasons. For areas with steady, consistent rainfall, consecutive days of little to no rainfall can be quite a bother, especially for the farmers and those relying on rainfall for their water consumption. What if those heavy rainfall went on for weeks and the rainfall became heavier? What would happen if those periods of drought lasted longer? In recent years, we have already experienced drastic changes in our climate. For example, during the week El Nino in 2019, the National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council reported a nationwide agricultural loss of 2.6 billion pesos in six regions across the country. This was also the time when the Manila water crisis occurred. In 2021, the NDRRMC reported that 5,554 families have been evacuated due to the intensified Habagat rainfalls, which brought more than a month-long equivalent rainfall in just five days. With the influence of climate change, we could assume that these calamities could only get worse. We may be wondering, what will be the changes in the Philippine climate? More importantly, will we be able to survive the drastic changes in our local climate? We at DOST Pag-asa have been seeking the answers to these questions in the past 10 years. Through various collaborations with international agencies, we've been coming up with data of possible future climate conditions for the Philippines that spans to the end of the 21st century. This information are for local government units, both provincial and municipal level, to be used as their science-based reference in coming up with adaptation plans for future impacts of climate change in their communities. In 2018, we have produced provincial-scale projections of average rainfall and temperature that span towards the end of the 21st century. This information are useful for LGUs in planning for future average climate conditions, but they do not hold information about incidents of extreme temperature and rainfall. Thus, in a recent program partnered with the Manila Observatory and Ateneo de Manila University, the Climate Extremes Projection were produced. The Climate Extremes Projection contains information of 12 temperature and 12 rainfall indices that show the possible changes for each variable in terms of their magnitude, frequency, and duration. Using these projections, LGUs will have the basis for determining the developments in the weather and climate-related hazards that could affect their community and subsequently prepare the necessary adaptation plan. For example, if the municipal agricultural officer or provincial agriculturist would like to know how much worse the impact of future flooding could have on rice crops in a flood-prone farming area, they could look at the provincial projections for the magnitude of rainfall, either the volume of heavy rainfall days or the volume of highest possible one-day rainfall in a year. The frequency of heavy rainfall or how many days this high volume rainfall could occur and the rainfall duration, that is, the number of consecutive days in which the extreme rainfall incidents could possibly last. After determining the degree of change of the flooding hazard, the LGUs could then formulate adaptation plans which could indicate either upscaling local or existing technologies or investing on the state-of-the-art technologies. Details about the extremes climate indices, how they were produced, the national maps, provincial tables, and a broad list of literature based sector specific adaptation options can be found in the recently released Philippine Climate Extremes Report 2020. Download the both from the DOST Pagasa webpage. At present, the climate projections are our best source of information for understanding the future state of the Philippine climate. And the Climate Extremes projection are the best tools in preparing adaptation plans to help our communities stay resilient to future weather and climate-induced calamities. It is our duty to stay informed about the past, present, and possible future condition of our climate and to act together with the support and guidance of our respective local government so that we may stay progressive amid the threats and dangers brought along by climate change.